All right, back again with another action pose position of the week. And um, keeping in line, we're going to use the book here, use my book here. Um, I saw another nice little interesting pose. I got to think of where it was. I think it was in Jump. So each the book has different sections for like running, jumping, flying, um, just different things that you might need, you know, kicking, uh, swimming, punching. So it was just something that I had an idea to do because nobody really had any kind of reference like that. It was just go online and see what you could find the best of what you could find. So I just came up with this book. And so I want to, I found a, a good, a good little drawing this guy right here we're going to do this one right here it's a nice little jump position so we're going to do that i'm going to put a little more detail to it because when i did this and now i am a lot better artist than when i produced this book oh and speaking of books this book and many others if you want to win one of these books um i have given some to a friend sam's art studio uh, i'll leave the link in the um description at the end and he's going to be giving away some of these books. I gave him a bunch of these books. Uh, th this one, the, the girl uh, action book, is one. This one's basically was basically for more men. There's a few women in there. The second one was all female. Um, this one is the 360 book. It just takes one position and it kind of turns it around, you know, from different angles. Same position, different angles. So if you want to use this, but you want to use this at an at a angle going to whatever left or right or from the back. So it's there. Another idea I had, and this is uh, my superhero coloring book for those people that want to practice color. And there's several, I think there's a couple extra books that he has, but he's doing a giveaway of those books. I gave them to him for that, um, for that purpose to do a giveaway. And the one, re one requirement is you have to subscribe to his channel. You have to subscribe. So that's Sam's Art Studio. And uh, yeah, it, his address will be in the link at the end of this. So let's get started with that position. I'm not going to flip through here because I'm not going to be able to find it again. That, this position right here. So let's get going. So I'll take a quick look at it to see what I had. So I won't get too far off in case you do have the book or you plan on getting the book. And that was the whole purpose of this thing is to show people if you have if you have the picture in front of you uh to make it easy step by step drawing of the picture so i've got everything except my glasses which i had on my head a minute ago but that's all right i have another pair it gets bad when you have to buy like multiple pairs of glasses you know i have one on this drawing table one on my other table behind me one in the bathroom I have one outside in the living room and I have one in my book bag. Yeah, I know. It's just, you know, it's like that. All right. So this is not the paper I want to use. This is just basic copy paper. I have um, another sheet, which is cardstock, a little thicker. So I like to do my final pictures on better paper because those are the ones that I'm going to keep. So let's start out. It shouldn't take too long. Shouldn't take too long. We're going to go straight forward with that. So, I don't know, should I go this way? Because of the arm stretching out, let's, let's do that. Let's go this way. So you always want to start out with your torso. It's an oval, not a circle. And in this case, I'm going to do more the egg shape. Because he's going to be leaning over, so it's like his head is going to be here. So it's going to be leaning over. So you're going to have to have that V, that letter V here that goes up because his delts are going to be here and right here. So only thing I'm doing right now is oval, circle, circle. Here's one for the head. There's another oval. I'm drawing it simple once you get these shapes right. So the chest is going to come down. Well, I'm actually going to bring that up a little bit more because the neck, base of the neck fits right here in this top of this V. And then your delts, which are going to be higher. Because he's sitting down, because he's sitting there, because he's leaning down, you're going to have the delts come all the way around the back, like that, and like that. And then you're going to have the back. 
Now, depending on the size of your character, it determines how wide you want to make these shoulders. I don't want them too wide. So I'm getting rid of this. And then the chest comes down and you're going to see more chest because he's leaning forward. And the chest actually comes up to this. This is basically kind of like one whole piece, really. And if you think of it as that, it makes it a lot better. So you have this left over and you, you have that mountain here and it's going to go all the way down. It's going to kind of curve around. Because you have to take that, take in consideration what that torso looks like. If your rib cage looks like this. Well, actually, it's, it's, way, it's way open more. And you tip it down, you start tipping it down. It's going to look like that, this piece. And there's that hole in the top where your head goes and your your um, collarbone curves around like this. It just goes up right there at the delt and it curves around and this in the back are your shoulder blades. So for my head it was here. It's going to be like that. The chest is going to come down, cover some of that, depending on the amount of turn you are doing. All right, back to the pencil. You're going to see some abs because it's center line. So you're going to see some of the, the, the waist. You're going to see some of the waist right here. And again, it depends on how much you're tilting it down, determines how much of, of any of this you're going to see. And then that upside down house. So got enough room for my, my um, arms. And then this leg is going to come forward. This is just an oval. The hard part is you just want, you want to um, not make it too long. And then this one is going to go back, so it's going to be shorter than this. Center of my legs here and here. And then we're going to put the foot here. So you want to come straight down. This is going to go out. And then you want to, you can do a little point or you can flatten it off like that. So if I brought that head down a little bit more, he'd be leaning in towards me more. So the first set of abs I'm going to do, just coming right off of here, just that circle right off of there. Second set, my line is crooked. Second set is going to be a little closer, coming off that same line. And the third set, make those a little bigger because at, at this point the body starts to turn a little bit. The obliques and then it goes down. So you're going to have this shape right here. Now you have this right here from the from your obliques obliques your love handles and then you have this left over your legs are going to be shaped like this and then anything left behind here is going to be like the buttocks but we just use that as one piece that's why you have those shorts those little bathing suits swimming trunk shorts that uh all your superheroes wear a little bit of definition in the legs. Leaving that V. And then the arms. So you're going to have your, what is that part called? You're going to have that, that shoulder, which is the traps, trapezius muscle. Come down here. Yeah, you guys getting a, uh, another, um, anatomy lesson you're gonna be doctors so that stops here visually but it goes behind you really 
It's just under this trap muscle, under this muscle here. And we have that, which is, is separated into several pieces. One, two, and then we're gonna have that arm coming out. Now the angle of the arm depends on what you wanna do. So I'm always doing crooked and can't see it until it's too late. So, this piece, and not necessarily, is not necessarily going to go back. It is a little bit, but not necessarily. Let's just do this, come up like that. This is coming down. And then my thumb is going to be right here. So bicep. End of my wrist. Coming down. Straight down here and in. A little bolt for my thumb. My thumb is going to go right there. Making sure your hands are not, are you focused like all the way? Making sure your hands are not, one is not too big, one is not too small. You may see that other knuckle depending on the angle of it. That's not necessary, not necessary. So we have this, we have that separation. We have this, we come to a point. Separating that bicep from that tricep and the center muscle here. I, I don't know what that center muscle is called, but we're going to, where did that center muscle go? Come up here, it's going to go down toward the thumb. Bicep, tricep, make that a little bigger. And not looking too shabby so far. A little bit of muscle definition to it. And head, the last time I did the last one, his head was just a little bit too short. You find all this stuff out after you ink it and walk away and come back the next day and like, oh no. Not too bad, not too big, not too small. Take it down just a little bit. Again, generic face. Looking at what I have.
And then that line is going to actually go toward the thumb. It's going to go toward that thumb. So I can probably bring this leg up more. Let's see what I bring that leg up more. What, what would it change? I mean, that's not a bad position in itself. Pet peeve. Pencils rolling. Makes it easier to draw now. I can use a pencil because I'm not having to deal with my light. It's time to break open a new eraser if this one's going to leave stuff all over the place. So, but if I do that, then I'm going to have to put part of the other leg there. And that wasn't part of the deal. So no, I'm not going to bring that leg up. It wasn't part of the drawing anyway, the original drawing. So if you're following the drawing that I laid out, that's going to throw you off. Bring that leg down just a little more. Maybe even a little more. Not even maybe. Better. And then I can put the foot back. No foot for the other one. So what did I have here? Got the thumb. This is going to curve around. This and this. Making that Y shape. I have the thumb. It's going to curve around. That and that. Little bulge there. Little bulge there. And I think genetic face. Genetic. Generic face. I'm saying I'm thinking we have it. Uh, for some reason, I always make my eyes lower, and then I have to lower the chin. Like I'm about to do now. just because Something I used to do when I first started drawing faces was draw those lines like that. And then I'll go from there at the, do the eyes and somehow, some way the Mandalorian mask came around. And it was kind of like the same lines that I use to define my faces, I used to define my faces with. That mouth could be moved over a little bit more. I moved over a little bit less, or the chin could come up more and out, but I'm not gonna really deal with it. And then we have your temples here that comes in, that gives you that roundness that actually helps you have that, develop that roundness. So the shoulders, here again, we have this little dip. And your blades, your shoulder blades, that's your shoulder blades, your, your delts coming around. And your extra muscle in your neck. And I think that's going to be it for this one. So let's ink this. 
Let's see what we're coming with. Let's see, adding some shadow. I'm not like a big shadow person because before adding shadow, you have to figure out where your light's coming from. I know a lot of people just throw shadow in there, and but you know, you really got to think about it if you want to be realistic about it. And then, too, when you start something, you have to really finish it. So if I started doing shadow on the abs and I leave the legs unshadowed and arms unshadowed, it's just an un unfinished picture. So I really don't do shadow, especially when I'm teaching, because you might want the light to come from this way. I might have the light coming up this way, so that doesn't really show you. But for the sake of all of it, I'm going to do very minimal shadow. Looking at where it might be using blue. And I'll just kind of like draw the basic um, shapes of it. And see what I have. So this chest is coming around here. This is coming around here. This is going to be shadowed because it is round. Of course, there. That. Just to see what it looks like. That's a good way, a reason to use. Um, a color pencil of some type. So shadow's gonna be here, definitely in the crotch area. So I'll just put some down here, going down here. Of course, you want the legs to be a little thicker and shadow-wise, and I always just kind of flare it out here. And for some reason, I don't like to put my shadow all the way down. I like to leave that uh, rim light, I guess, what that is. But for some reason, I'm not going to do it today. And then your knee. And then maybe the foot. This is right here, so I can actually, since he's leaning, he would actually, he could be shadowing this. That could be a thicker shadow right there. But I'm just going to do this one here. And maybe up in here as well. Bring this down. So deep shadow under the chest. Under here. Basically it's where things suck in at. So that would be around here as well. Since that's round, get that roundness. Bring it up. This already this is already done. A little on the bicep, a little a lot on the bicep. Sucks in. This sucks in. So add that and that. And this is like a, a high point here in this middle part. So make this a little thicker. And this is gonna come out just here and just kind of like flare out, flare off, or just just go off on its own. 
course it's gonna be thicker there and thicker there. And under the traps, the little V is gonna be right here because this is a dip under the traps. Now, at this point you can shadow one side more than the other side. If light was coming from here, then I would make this a little thicker. And let's go ahead and experiment with that just because I'm just going to make this a little thick. It's either going to make it a little better or it's going to mess it up more. I'm not a shadow person. I don't really like to experiment with a drawing that could really screw up. So that is going to pop out. So this is going to be here and in between these fingers and then the back under this thumb so this is where you would do your your your, your hatching your flaring hatching and let's, let's make this a little more and so i'm going to darken all of this except the one little piece Make this a little thicker. And I'm going to cover this whole part up here. I'm going to give some more shadow here under the chest. All this is going to be connected. And then just have this. that under the chin since I've got shadow more shadow going this way I'm going to put some shadow over here and this part of the chest a little more here and actually this is going to be black and you'll see a little white right here make this a little thicker Yeah, and all this is definitely, um, what, shadow, uh, experimental, shadow, of course it's shadow, it's experimental. So of course the nose, one side of the nose, the shadow is going to come here, part of that eye, and I'm debating leaving this just blue instead of trying to ink it. Leave that rim light on that head. I can always feather that. Um, give the cheekbones. So this is going to be dark here. The side of the face, the nose. Uh, uh, chin, under the mouth. This I would do just some lines like feather lines like right here if I if I was going to try to go crazy maybe the same thing over here maybe some feather lines and of course the head And I need just a little more shadow on the other side of the face because that's just how it's done. So you would definitely have this over the eye because it's coming out over the eye and maybe just some in the under the cheek and in the ear and then there. So if I shadow this, if I shadow this, so yeah, it would look like this. It would look like that. Look like that. It also depends on how much light you have. If I knew I was going to draw so small, I would have zoomed in. Let me zoom in real quick so you can see what I, the mess that I made. Okay, so 
it'll, it'll be better in editing because for me it's kind of blurred this is what I have so far with the blue representing the shadow uh, I had m the light coming somewhere from this side because you have more shadow on that side and then um, because the body's bending over you're gonna have some shadow definitely shadow here I could have added more here but I didn't want to go too crazy and because the stomach is underneath you're gonna get more shadow there just a little light to show that the abs kind of bulge out so 35 minutes that's not too shabby so I'm gonna end this right here and um, as I say if you want to win you know one of these books one of these free books Sam's art studio and I think there might be a four or five different books I think a sketch a sketchbook which I don't have I, it's hard I have to order some more it's bad when you create the books and you have to order them for yourself and pay money for your book that you created anyway Sam's art studio I'll leave the address below and um, hit the notification bell because I'm going to try to do more and more and more drawings because I want um, I want you guys to learn number one I want to get this stuff out and uh, I'm still working on my next edition to Trials of the Samurai Clown and I have two more titles that I want to do but it's hard doing three books when you're one person three books a YouTube channel full-time job taking care of an elderly parent and not getting enough sleep anyway that's my life so if you enjoyed it give me a thumbs up leave me a comment I'll do a couple more of these shadow things to just so number one you can learn how to do more shadow and two I can learn how to do more shadow as well so that's going to be it for this video I will see you guys in the next video stay safe if you're locked in draw more all right I'm out later oh no class dismissed I'm, I'm going to get my bell sound get my bell sound class is dismissed